welcome to my show again i'm back i just wanted to check with you i hope you are here all of you to follow me and see who created over over 20 reality tv shows worldwide successful as we speak now the love boat is about to happen and this is my idea again my concept from two israelis living in melbourne australia broke into my car and took all the documents and basically took photos of them and created the show even for existing show that it's an old show to make it as a reality it's like a brain you have to think about it you have to love the show you have to have some idea of what show would you like to make it real and this is one of them my idea again broke my heart but i'm going to explain to you again how other reality tv shows came about who stole them how all of a sudden since 2002 we have all of amazing reality tv shows for dancing singing talent and models who beyond this show same concept worldwide not the franchise different shows over 150 countries financially over 2 billion for each production company members of the community made millions of, the, of their success of showing their talents the judges celebrities made millions out of my shows when I was left behind. No one recognized my work. No one recognized I know who I am. No one even think for a minute that I will create America Next Top Model. Tara Banks, she was in Victoria's Secret. 2005, she became a bit too old. She didn't know where she's going. 2003, she started to produce the show and the concept was given to her by the girl that worked for me. Natasha Matthias, 2009, when I wanted to go to court, the lawyer and a cameraman in Australia stole my idea. They were looking for ideas to produce shows. So twice a hit and I'm going to prove to you right. That's all I want is the recognition. So let's go into it. You're going to know very well who is Mark and Carl Fennessy. So Carl Fennessy, CEO. Carl is the CEO and Shine Australia. A role over started, resumed in 2013 after his two years to the CEO in Shine America. Uh -huh. Loud and clear. Shine Australia, Shine America. Started shows in America so you won't get sued in Australia. But the registration is count, isn't it? I think. In Australia, America, Carl was responsible for driving the commercial strategy and restructuring, restru rest restructuring the American businesses and Shine Group. Shine Group? They went bankrupt? I don't know. Have a look at my other sessions. Have a look. Prior to that, Carl oversaw the launch of Shine Australia in 2010 as a CEO and was driven force of the company's aggressive growth. Shine Australia became one of the leading content producers in Australia and New Zealand, launching local kid version of the MasterChef for kids. Carl joined Shine Australia after successfully launching Free Mental Media. Australia with his brother Mark Fennessy. At Fremantle Australia, Carl served as a chief operating officer while his brother Mark was the company CEO. Together they oversaw the development in such a MasterChef Australia. So you think you can dance? That's another show, guys. For judges, celebrity, boot camp reality tv show and talent you can you can't explain to it any other way carl and mark fantasy stole my concept and make it look like it's theirs make it look like they are the biggest people in the world for creation and creativity but they broke someone's heart, they took someone's work. It's like 
an artist, someone who took the painting and copy the painting, or it's like a singer that write songs about their life and they're taking their life away from them by copying the song. You can't do that. It's just like it will come to light. Carl joined China Australia after successfully launching Fremantle Media Australia with his brother Mark Fancy. Together they oversaw the development of MasterChef Australia. So you think you can dance? Project Runway is another one. What, um, Farmer was a, once a wife, Australian got talent. But Fremantle Media Australia became the largest independence production company in the southern Af at atmosphere hello hello there is a lady sitting here which without her you wouldn't become the largest company in the atmosphere they won awards and they made over 2.2 .2 billion dollars before planting for mental media flag in australia Carl and mark fantasy had previously launched a manage their own independent Australia production company, Crackjack. Don't worry, I have more proof for you for how much money they make and how. how. Crackjack. Well, the Crackjack, they successfully created and launched a series in comedy. Okay, let's see if any of the shows are belong to mine in Crackjack. No. Okay, Carl began his career in Australia and uh, it is seven and nine network. Carl, Carl, Carl's, Carl, cameraman. Mark, lawyer. Remember, because that's very critical. A lawyer should be sitting in jail at the moment. And maybe we're gonna make it happen. A lawyer who took his potential client's idea, concept, and run with it. That's a crime. Cal began his career in Australia in 79 Network, working together on news report programming. He's resigned in Sydney, resigned in Sydney with his wife and children. I have children too. Okay. All right, now we know exactly when Shine franchising they are in Australia. Shine fran franchise in Australia. Shine lawyers. Shine lawyers. Shine group. Shine lawyers. Production. Shine Australia, Shine 360, Shine Media, Shine 360, yeah? Shine Australia, registration. So meant to go to court, this is why it's all. Shine again, sorry. Shine production. Good, Shine Group Australia, here we go, getting to Shine Group Australia and all of the changing of their names. Shine Creative. Shine Group. All of the postcode, where they live, where they are. You can get everything and all of the information is just here. There is nothing hidden in the back. All right, let's make sense to all of this. Okay? Let's make sense. So, about Shine. Shine was sold to Robert Murdoch and Elizabeth Murdoch for 600 million. The chief of free mental media, local arm, have been po pitched to run, ah, poached to run Shine Australia. So free mental media is going to run Shine Australia. Elizabeth Murdoch, will walk away from the TV production empire she built when the planned merge between Shine Group and the two other companies, Edmol and Core Media, in finalized. Producer and dist 
distributor with over 500, 600, sorry, revenue generating 